Hey guys, I'm Janet on occasion, and today we are carrying on with our Oxyotl campaign, which of course goes on forever. And uh, now I can fully understand why uh, his logo, flag, banner? Banner. Banner sounds right. Why his banner is an Ouroboros. It makes total sense, because it goes on forever. This is why. We should have seen this coming. I'm not quite sure how it took me that long to make this connection. I'm sure a lot of you have made that connection and smugly thought to yourselves, I oh, should look at the flag, banner, icon, logo, thing, watermark, I don't know, that guy. The, the snake boy. The snake lad with the, the dot in the middle. Yeah. Anyway, so, uh, we're done with the turn, I think. Yeah, we're, we're absolutely skint, uh, which usually means that's a good sign that we are done. So, let's crack on. Uh, hero action success chance up. Oh, that is... That's wonderful. So pleased about that. Uh, though we are going to get plus three untainted uh, next up. So six more turns for that. And determining the great plan's pretty good too. Oh my god. We'd, oh, we've got to go all the way. I forgot about that. That's so upsetting. Okay, we'll just go for that then. Yeah. I was thinking we'd go from this one and go down. To uh, to the to the sequence of geomantic healing, I want that twenty percent casualty replacement rate. That is so good. That is so good. And income from mines and quarries plus two hundred percent is also insane. These are really powerful, huh? There's some good tech there. There are some good tech. We should get more tech things, shouldn't we? We should get more tech things. Those scrying pools. Yeah, these things. 5% for each one. I think we could build quite a few if we're not going to bother building walls on anything anymore. And they, they do cost 4 grand, which is uh, a little pricey. A little pricey. But it's okay. These places will make up for it soon. we spent most of our money already, haven't we? Yes, we have. Yes, we have. Um, more money. Scrying pool. <laughs> Alright, we're good. Uh, no, we're not. More of the things. We've spent all of our money. Nailed it, guys. Nailed it. So, Grendel, you head to Canon Car to do the final mission. I find it kind of novel that we're doing all those missions now. You know, all the uh, Visions of the Old Ones missions. Just with random lords. We're not even using Oxyotl for them anymore. Yeah, we're just having Oxyotl carve out a new empire in Astalia. It's rather nice. So, clearly two ships met in combat and brought each other low, their rival crews drowning in battle and hatred, but their loss could be your gain as the sunken ships lean on each other in unstable fashion. Time is short. Salvage must be sought quickly. Sunken chest. Inside the chest is a spyglass to pierce the shroud of war and wax-sealed rations to keep armies healthy. Your exploration of the high seas has borne fruit, a bounty of maps to uncharted realms, revealing more of the world. You've got a glyph necklace. 10% ward save is not... Insubstantial. Or is it unsubstantial? Insubstantial. That sounds right. An ancient and potent token of protection. This necklace wards off attacks and those of spiteful intent. Oh, so if someone just sort of walks over to call you a dickhead, then they'll get they'll get pushed away. Is that right? Just spiteful intent. <laughs> yep. Yep, that's how that works. So, uh, it just goes, Oi, Karen. Step back, Karen. <laughs> you don't want to make a big deal of this. So, uh, Alchemist Park. That's uh, a park for alchemists. True story. It's not a true story, made it up. You better run. Oh, you're still going to be in range of this. No, he's not. You can just sit there then. Uh, lightning Strike. There's a uh, Obsaif and Cypress. Very cool. That was fine. Good. This is mine now. Unlucky mate. Alignment of crafting time. Excellent. Okay. Killed a bunch of people. And why well, I say people. Horrible rats. Uh, so hang on one moment. What do they have left? Strength rank 65. That's not a good sign for them, is it? Zero settlements. That's literally all they've got. Wow. Hell yeah. Job well done, guys. Job well done. Very well done. Although, Clan Moors, they were up here somewhere, and now I can see why. 
all of this is Clan Moors. Yeah, they've got a huge chunk in the middle here. That's all Clan Moors, I'm pretty sure. Interesting. I thought that the Greenskins had this whole area on lockdown, but actually, it's just sort of a strip down the middle. And hang on, more ruins here. Are these more Clan Moors? Or is that the Rictus Clan Nest? I think that might be Rictus Clan Nest there. Huh. Or Clan Vulcan, actually. Clan Vulcan, I think, are in this area, aren't they? Huh. Or Ferric? Where's Ferric? I can't remember where Clan Ferric is. Skaven Warlord. Oh, well. They're still Skaven alive, so, you know, that's... That's no good thing. But they're certainly fewer than I was expecting. So that's nice. More Clan Moors, but... The other factions don't seem to be doing as well, so that's good news. Uh, I think that's it. I think that's it for the turn. What a boring turn. Oh, there is a settlement upgrade, though. That's nice. Vul's Anvil or the Temple of Adeoth? Uh, Vul's Anvil. I like an anvil. Don't know what I meant by that. Uh, oh, interesting. Ally just declared war. Hunts Marshall's expedition. Finally at war with them. And, of course, they're allied with Eotain. Oh. Yeah, alright, we're going to enter the war on the side of Hexawattle. So Mazdamundi is marching out towards Parhawks, which is a huge problem for us. Yeah, this is a huge problem for us. If he takes Parhawks, we, not, we might not be able to confederate with Hexawattle, which means we will have to declare war on him to take Parhawks. Unless, of course, the High Elves just wipe him out. But, of course, I can't really be rooting for that, can I? Not really. Clan Scryer coming for that final attack. Oh, he does have Toxa the Blade here, though, assaulting my garrison. Cheeky little rat. And Boil Rolk. Yeah, he's coming too. Oh, but he's going to attack me. Oh, okay, then that's it, then. Faction's wiped out. Got another ambush, though I don't think this one's going to go very well. What a lovely selection of snotling pump wagons. Uh, but yeah, Wurzag's going to murder everybody. That's absolutely fine. You go ahead, Wurzag. Alright, so, talk to the blade and etc. Stuff happening, rats, they're all dead. It's, it's fine. Absolutely fine. Let's put up our research. Is it a little late in the day to be uh, going all in for research, you know, at turn 114? We may be going to turn 300 if the uh, <laughs> if the wind conditions are anything to go by. So, you know what? I'm, I, think, uh, I think it's worthwhile. I think it's worthwhile. Uh, Tyrannican. Let's get you some more health. Lovely. Good lad. Bit of attrition. Really doesn't matter. Uh, Enjibenki, gonna hang out. Oh, hang on, have you got a level up? Oh, good boy. Oh, good boy. Let's get you Flaming Sword of Ruin. And then we'll get Kindle Flame. Because Kindle Flame, giving that uh, map-wide 15 second plus 20% weakness to fire, that goes really well with Burning Head and Flaming Sword of Ruin. Because they both do fire damage, obviously, but it basically just means that Burning Head will do 20% more damage, and it also means that everything with Flaming Sword of Ruin will do an additional 20% damage to everything they're attacking. So you just really maximize those two effects really nicely. So anyway, um, Suptiles, you can finally fight these Norskins, and it does look like Bretonia are at least holding what they currently have. They haven't made any ground, but... We don't necessarily need them to. You know, we just need to do our bit to destroy this stuff, you know? But yeah, it's looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. I am a little concerned that it's turned 114, though, I must say. I am a little bit concerned by that. I do feel as though that's... Um, uh, that's, that's too high. <laughs> that's too high a turn. Not a big fan of that. Uh, also, uh, yeah, there's only tier 2 still, so I have to wait. I was going to say, oh, I need to get the geomantic web set up. Can't, can't yet. Don't be silly. Don't be silly, guys. Uh, we do need to upgrade this one, though. I will need to remember to do that at some point. So we're earning a bunch of money right now. But I think I might need to get another army in Skeggy. 
so I can come down here and help fight this good fight. Uh, also, hang on a minute. Uh, objectives. Is it only... It is... Okay, long. Hold the following settlement. Oh. Okay, that's kind of annoying, actually. Because I was hoping it would be, you know, hold the following settlement, either through conquest or military alliance. But... Sadly not. And they are never going to want to confederate with me because they're more powerful than me currently. That's very frustrating. Yeah, you might have to go to war with Mazda Mundi if he takes this. Now I'm thinking maybe we dragged our feet a little too long. Yeah. Alright, how can I... So the elves are still at war with you. I think we just got to wait this out, you know. Hope the elves... Not necessarily win, but do a little better than uh, <laughs> than our lizard friends. Okay, so Grendel's ready to go. Engibank is busy. Sloop to is going to attack that next turn. Oxyotl, I don't know what to do with. Because anywhere we go, we're declaring war on somebody new, aren't we? Uh, we could take Atholorin. That could be amusing. Uh, I could come over here and fight the elves, but... I mean, taking Lothurn would be pretty hilarious. That doesn't seem wise to me. Oh, we could come over here, actually. Yeah, I could come down here. Take uh, Pox Marsh, The Awakening. I think that's a good shout. Let's take this area over. We won't have to worry about babysitting it when Chaos arrives. So it's just more sort of enemy territory that we can get for free. Which I think is incredibly beneficial to us. Also, the distance we can travel is just sublime. Really is wonderful. Is Musion still going? No, don't think so. And wow, is that Hockland? What the hell is Hockland doing in Fort Burgres? That's impressive. Good for them. Good for them. Okay, next turn. Okay, the Heralds of <laughs> Ariel declared war on Krakendrak again. Why do they keep doing this? All right, oh, enter the enter the war on the side of Krakendrak, I suppose. That's just unbelievable. We may have to fight them now. Yeah, look, they're right there. They are right there. That is just obscene. And Brock Iron Pick wants a military alliance. Go away. I was going to say, your tiny kingdom is nothing to me. Why would I want to be friends with some tiny, tiny dwarf faction? And then I remembered that we literally just went to war for Krakadrak, who has one settlement. And, oh, by the way, I noticed this as well. Um, and it will only ever be one settlement, because he still hasn't bloody taken shock track. And Kislev has taken all this area now. It's just <laughs> so stupid. And he's not even at war with Norska. It's so dumb. Anyway... Let's take this over. I say take it over. Let's burn it to the ground. I don't want it in this territory. Good. Raise multiple settlements. This one will kill everything that is yours. Uh, wait, what? Oh, sorry. This this one will kill until everything that is yours becomes theirs. So we kill everything that is yours. <laughs> all your pets. All your pets are dead. Until it becomes theirs. Just got a collection of dead pets. Anyway, even then, they will not stop until death intervenes and says, can you stop it? Come on now. Just leave the pets out of this. Okay? You, just, you leave everyone's mums out of it, you leave people pets out of it. Okay? It's just... It's just good manners. Um, right, let's get Blade Shield. And Ruar. Sadly, can't get you on an engine of the gods yet. That's going to be quite some time. Level 27. Wow. Anyway. Uh, do, do, do. Can't let Cass and Dora leveling that up might be nice. Uh, let's get Roiling Skies for all those flying units we've been encountering. I can't think of any personally, but uh, they might exist. You don't know. So I would like to grab that. but And that. But actually it's going to take a good few turns to grab all that. So now I'm thinking maybe I can't be bothered. Okay, let's upgrade that. Let's upgrade that. Good. Do I just want to head over here? Oh, hang on a minute. Wasn't there? Didn't I have some reason to destroy Galleon's graveyard as well? Uh, yeah, Dreadfleet needs to get wiped out. Okay, let's go wipe out Dreadfleet. I'll take it over too. It'll be alright, love. 
I would like to get into the Terra Replenishment, though. Oh, hello. Hello there. So this is high seas attrition. Okay. Do you want to go now? Uh, so I can't go there, but then I've got to go right around. Oh, and I can't reach there yet. Okay. Uh, I think we're just going to sit here for now. I mean, that seems a bit boring. Screw it. Screw the attrition. We're going. We don't need these troops to defeat that lad anyway. Oh, more lads to fight. So, a convoy of trading ships carrying myriad precious goods across a nearby sea trade route have been brought low by the angry sea god Stromfels, much to the chagrin of wealthy merchants and investors back at their home ports. Knowing that such wreckage could be a highly profitable salvage opportunity, you sail towards the area, but unsurprisingly, others have... Uh, there. I'm getting very tongue-tied today. I don't know what's up with me. Um, highly profitable salvage opportunity. You sail towards the area, but unsurprisingly, others have also caught wind of it. You could continue your approach, but this might end in a confrontation at sea. Sail to the wreck. We must continue our salvage mission, for the potential riches are worth the risk. Rivals be damned. And if we ought to resolve, we're not going to lose any of our units, but we might still lose a ton of units, a ton of uh, models in a unit, because, uh, you know, we can't tell, but not too bad, not too bad. Kill and eat. Another fan waver, lovely. Lost convoy, earning us eight grand, nice. Such vast wealth does not go missing out on the open ocean without pirates catching wind of it. And before long, a galleon helmed by a partially belligerent vampire admiral appeared in a cloud of broadside guns and hissing black powder weapons, blocking your passage. After defeating the undead freebooter, you looted their galleon's coffers before sailing on to claim the salvage from the convoy for yourself. Lovely. Pirate Hunter. There'll be order, even in this tropical hellhole. The tropical hellhole of, um... Um... Not really sure. Madeira? We're probably near Madeira. <laughs> so, anyway. I guess I'll continue on. So, the attrition is next to nothing. So, we're, we're pretty good. Uh, it's going to take two more turns. So, a bit more attrition before we get there, but... I think we're going to get there pretty well, so... It's not actually telling us. Are we immune to sea attrition? Because it's not telling us how many we're losing per turn. Which implies that we're not losing any. So maybe we are immune to it, but it's still saying that it exists for reasons? How many turns have we got here? Four more turns for this. I'm going to grab this treasure and then I'll go to Cannon Car. Might as well, eh? Oh, excellent. A convoy of trading ships carrying myriad precious goods across a nearby sea trade route have been brought low by the angry sea god Stromfels. God of deja vu. Nice. So yes, good sea captain. Good sea captain Grendel. Captain Grendel. Lost convoy, another eight grand. Excellent. Uh, here we go. Uh, captain Grendel. Much better. Much better. I didn't realise he was a captain until it told me. You know, until it told me that he was a good captain. Um, so, to be a good captain, you have to be a captain. Or else, you're just good. I didn't say good. He said good captain. So, you've got to bear that in mind. You've got to bear that in mind. It's called world building, guys. So, let's get precise. Why not? None of, none of it really matters. We can get basically any skill for any of these guys. They're all really high level now. <laughs> it's all good. Um, deliverance of Itza up higher might be nice. More Winds of Magic would be good, though. Let's do that. More Power Reserve. And, yeah, we'll go the whole way. Then we'll focus on this stuff. Um, yeah, that'll do. Okay. So, good job, Captain Grendel. Good job. Angie Benke, still just hanging out. That's fine by me. And... Oh. Did we do that this turn? Did as well. Alright, cool. Settlement upgrade available. There's going to be a lot of things available to upgrade, that's for sure. Okay, let's get all that nonsense. Um, frozen City. Yeah, let's upgrade these finally. And let's get that too. Excellent. Oh, also, by the way, uh, I'm going to keep this. 
I'm going to keep this meat storage full. That 4% casualty replenishment rate, it's not huge, but because it's in an area where we can teleport to whenever we like, I kind of like the idea of having like a, a bit of a bonus to replenishment in our home province. Because yeah, right now we don't really need to build anything else here. Kind of content with what we have there already. Um, so I'm plus four there. How much is that currently giving? Four. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Okay, what else? Uh, let's upgrade that one. This place can get more money. Yeah. Why the heck not? Okay, we managed to spend all of the money already. That's insane. I cannot believe how much money we spent so quickly. It just shows how much stuff we need to upgrade, like across the, our empire. It's a lot of infrastructure. Especially because half our empire we literally just colonized again. So that is gonna that is gonna come with a price tag, isn't it? Oh yeah, I'd somehow completely forgotten about um Glamour Weaver Atrolio. Um, that's disgusting. Bunch of blade singers, bunch of way watchers, a bunch of great stag knights. This is real real painful. You can destroy it? Yeah, I thought so. It's okay. Oh my god, and the sister twilight? Really? Okay, we need to get Oxyotl back over here. That's very frustrating. Uh, oh, that's nice. Okay, we're upgrading all this stuff. That's right, all of it. Excellent. More money. Yeah, the stone marker. I mean, we could go for more research, but I'm not going to. How are we doing, anyway? 175%? It's getting there, guys. It's getting there. I'm not sure where we're getting to, but it's getting to somewhere. It's getting to somewhere. So, yeah, this stuff is going to get taken, isn't it? I mean, none of this stuff is particularly uh, valuable to us. But it doesn't mean that I want all these stag knights to be running around our territory. Ogre mercenaries leave. I do like that them leaving is actually a separate graphic to just ogre mercenaries turning up. You know, it actually has its own graphic. I really like that. So ogres are restless creatures ready to move camp at the drop of a well-gnawed bone, unsatisfied with the opportunities for food and plunder in the area. They have chosen to move on. They may be back, however. If violence returns, so might they. And mission is you'd win four battles. Easy. More blessed pterodon riders for us. And a new sanctum is available. Good. Where on earth shall I put it? Not a clue. Maybe in this area? Maybe maybe in this region. Um, Could put one up here, actually. I think I put one here, because this is where the enemy will spawn. So you might get like one ambush here, one ambush here. For those initial, initial troops, you know. So, can't afford anything there, sadly. Okay, cool. I didn't want to be able to afford anything anyway. So, okay, what... Oh, yep, now there's the attrition. Fun. Fun. <laughs> so, what have we got here? Not much, actually. There's really nothing here. This stuff is going to be just easy. So, yeah, we're going we're gonna to attack that next turn, guys. We're going to attack Galleon's Graveyard next turn. At least we're going to try... Because I think we have to land and then attack it, so that could be cutting it a bit fine. Can I do that and then... Okay, I can. Should be able to get the next turn, maybe not. Depends. Captain Grendel. Um, we'll give you a turn of replenishment before we attack, I think. Good. And Salutiles, let's move you over to Winter's Pyre. And yeah, I'll have to put him in March start so he can get there next turn. But he can't get there next turn, which is pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, and then, I'm not sure whether to attack Ashling's Conclave. And you know what, I'll leave that for now. I'm going to keep going along the coast, wipe out these two, and then on my return journey, go through um, the heart of Norska. I'm sure it has a name. But I think you know what I mean. Alright, that'll do. Next turn. And it looks like we're defending against Dreadfleet. I didn't think that we were at war with them, but apparently we are. When were we at war with them? No idea. It doesn't matter. We're going to kill them all. It's going to be great. 
All right, here we are in Galleon's Graveyard. It really is an awesome looking map. Absolutely love it. It's terrifying. You know, it's just awful. I mean, look at it. All these spiky rocks pointing towards it. It's very cool. So yeah, this is actually the uh, opposite end of the world to the Great Moor, by the way. Which is the uh, the warpstone uh, meteorite crater that the ogres worship as a god. Very cool. Very cool stuff. Um, where can I put you guys? I don't know. I feel like we're going to get um, kind of bullied. Out in front. Um, but I would like to start making a dent in... Uh, everything, actually. Nice and quickly, so... You know, there is that. There is that. Here we go down one side. It's probably safer. And you can hang out there. Excellent. Okay. Uh, you know what? For the first time ever, I'm going to click gamble. It was totally worth it. All right, let's just get stuck in, shall we? Uh, let's hit those mortars. And you can all aim for the next effects, Colossus. And let's move you guys up here. Now, you guys, are you going to do anything? Yes, you are. All right. And, okay. Some troops coming. Thinking they're all that. Can I even hit them? I really don't know if I can actually hit these guys. And yeah, you guys are just having a bad day. Huh, you're having a very bad day. Those mortars are having a good day, though, and I don't know that much. Okay, you guys aren't quite doing what I was hoping you'd do. Let's use the blowpipe of Batui. Uh, on these gunnery mobs with handguns. You know what? Let's actually get the heck out of it. Let's just move this way. Good. And yep, they're getting handled. Wow. We're getting handled over here. Okay, you guys can go that way. Go this way. You guys can line up over here. And you guys are in skirmish mode. Fine. Okay. Uh, you go to them, I suppose. You lot into there. To go for those handguns. Move you guys up. All right. This is uh. This stings a bit. This stings a bit. Lord Gold's on his way. Lord Gold is on his way. Oh god, more Mongols. I found some Mongols, guys. <laughs> I found some Mongols. Well, this is terrifying. Yeah, this is absolutely terrifying. Mongols everywhere. Yeah, what was I just saying? Like, oh, this could be easy, innit? <laughs> Serves me right. Serves me right. Okay, let's heal them up. Oh my god, please kill him in a hurry, yeah? Okay, please, please die. Please die, like, yesterday. I need these guys to get killed before they wipe out all of my... All my big boys! Okay, you guys need to move too. Oh, come on. Get out of the way, the neck effects. Okay, let's move you in. Good. Okay, good stuff. You guys need to move up. You guys are having a bad day. You can you can run. You can get out of dodge. Or wherever it is that you live. And that's gonna stink. That's gonna stink. Oof. Alright. Yeah, we, we are struggling here. We are struggling. Uh, 
And let's see. I need to get over here. Okay, let's um, try and get you out of here. Okay. Not happy with this currently. Not currently happy with this. Okay, let's, uh, let's drop rocks on these boys. Excellent. Now, let's heal up you. Keep moving. Keep moving. Right, how you lot getting on? Oh, poorly, actually. Quite poorly. Yeah, not great. Not great, actually. Okay, come on, boys. Keep moving. Keep moving. And yeah, these guys are going to be a problem too. Yeah, this is this is not going well. And oh no, Oracle. Silly. Yeah, this is problematic for sure. All right, where is... Oh, it's the author himself. Oh, there he is. Oh, my. That's going to stink. And... All right, you're back. Get yourself up. Okay. Probably going to lose some Blessed Horde ones. Okay, you guys keep moving. And really, ugh. Did not see those rotting Promethians coming. Not sure how I missed them. They're quite big. See? Big old crabs. Big old scary crabs. Yeah, it's unbreakable units that seem to be the bane of our existence. Because we can't just sort of bully them and expect them to go anywhere, you know? But, things do seem to go quite well. You know, apart from all the death. Apart from that. Like, uh, there's, there's not a Necrofax Colossus. Not even Noctilus, just a Necrofax Colossus. My word. Okay, you guys keep moving. And let's heal you guys up. Let's have you run the heck away. Okay, good. Don't know where they're going. So still, oh, there's Noctilus. That's a pain. Okay, that's fine. All right, we still got some. Uh, still got some options, you know. Still got some options. Still got plenty of ammunition, you see. So, I think we're fine. In a sense. Okay, come on. Let's have him. Nice, that'll do it. And, oh, Mongols. Hi. Hi. Hi, Mongols. You know what? Again, not a big threat. I think we're okay. I think we're okay. These Mongols are just not having a good day. Okay, don't run at the Mongols, Oxyotl. That is what we call a dumb idea. Like, real dumb. That was a good shot, though. Okay, another volley, guys. Excellent. Great news. Alright, one more if you would. Nice. Necrofax Colossus behind us. I can't see the glyph where I'm moving. I like to be able to see the glyph. So there's a gunnery white over there. I'm going to heal myself up. And then we're going to go kill him. 
And that Mongol's still going. <laughs> Keep running. Keep running. Keep running, guys. How cool is this? So cool. Okay, doing alright. Doing alright. Kinda. Keep moving, guys. Keep moving. Okay, let's finish this guy off. Very good hit. So good that a bunch of zombies fell out of him. That's how you know it's a good hit. <laughs> Come on. Keep getting him. And that seems to be going okay. You can heal yourself up. And the pterodons. Hanging out with him, obviously. Nice. Nice. Excellent news. Alright, next up, Noctilus. He's... Oh, good. Just Melkoth. That's fine. Phew. I thought he was about to summon some... Zombies on us or something. Alright, let's up everyone's melee attack in there with the primeval roar. So yeah, we have won this battle. It's just, um... Oh, we have certainly suffered some casualties because of this. Certainly suffered some casualties. Okay, keep healing yourself and uh, surrounding units. And there we have it. There we have it. There goes Noctilus. And that's a zombie. <laughs> this guy's still going. Uh, yep, you guys did your bit. Cool. That's just this one Vivian Hornigold. Vampire Fleet Admiral. And huh, here comes our boy. <laughs> oh no, it didn't even didn't even get to him. Aw. Sorry, Booby. Maybe next time. Ouch. Very painful. Losing a blessed horn ones like that. It's very sad. Very sad indeed. We did wipe out literally everything, though. I just have to hope that wiping out their garrison means that their garrison is going to be wiped out when we start the next uh, uh, turn, and they're not just going to suddenly have a bunch more men there to fight. But, uh, yeah, that's painful. That is painful. But we did it. And this is the Twilight. are going to keep being a pain. Well, there goes Vul's Anvil. Uh, Vul is their god, so, you know, makes sense. But uh, it doesn't mean I have to like it. Uh, okay, what's going on here? Uh, oh, less uh, casualties of attrition. That sounds good. Sounds very good. So, your noble slan mage priests have devised a ritual that will give even ordinary skinks increased immunity against some of the foul diseases lingering in territories overrun by the vile servants of the Great Horned Rat. However, they must still be defended against other threats in the abandoned temple cities. Uh, ground could be regained this way, though troops would have to, uh, have to be committed in the Skink's defence. Commit to the plan. You're taking territory thought lost for many ages, and losing fewer Skinks essential, uh, and losing fewer Skinks essential to the old one's great plan. Onwards. Cool. Rob Sawfish. Okay. Winter pyre. Let's burn it to the ground. Always makes me feel better. Even if you have to come back through this way in a minute. And do it all over again. You know. As we do. Okay, so that's all good. Uh, more level ups for you. Let's have a look. Um, wound maker. Brilliant. And for Ruard. Curse Midnight Wind leveled up. I like Curse Midnight Wind. I don't use it often enough. But I do like it. And yep, yeah, of course they have. Troops here again, why wouldn't they? Ugh. Right, come here, you. Lightning strike. Oh, it's not actually much. Though they do have Norse Roar, which is something that I have no idea what it is. Uh, the the tagline for this is Blarg. Which, yeah, it's pronounced like that. Uh, Cat Hodgson, prepare to meet your doom. Really, really, against those guys, I'm going to lose, what, seven units? That seems, that seems a little much. So what is this, anyway? 
Good armor piercing damage, moderate amount of magical damage, small forward moving area of effect, reduces leadership, good versus armor, it's a wind spell. Alright, whatever. Okay, so, should be able to just handle this with these guys. That'll do. And uh, we'll bring you up there too, and you guys can go there as well. Okay, and we'll get stuck in. And you know what? You can you can heal yourself as well. Okay, just everybody go for these guys. You can slow yourself down and shoot. I guess that was that Norse roar that they were talking about. And there's a whole other spell. Cheeky little sods. Alright, mess them up, guys. Mess them up. I guess we should finish this off, though, huh? Maze is still going. Okay, come on. Alright, that'll do it. Good. Now, don't you dare try and shoot again, okay? Don't you dare try and shoot again. Really wouldn't like to be this woman. Not a good day for Cat. Not a good day for Cat. Yeah, this is a lot. <laughs> oh. How cool is that? <laughs> and to get there with the magic effect paused. It's very cool. So, we just lost uh, like fewer than half as many individual soldiers as they thought we were going to lose entire units bit ridiculous. So anyway, we're going to occupy this. This is ours now. Uh, I didn't realize it sucked. <laughs> I thought it had more territories. I forgot it was just one thing. Well, good enough. Destroyed the dread fleet, so that's something. And now... Uh, I can do that. And I would like to get more chameleon stalkers, though they don't function well. They really don't function as they should. Uh, so I am tempted to get some more chameleon skinks. I think that would be fun. And so what's their thing? They have snipe, huh? All of our chameleon skinks do. What do you have that's special then, huh? Uh, is it more ammunition? Is more ammunition their thing? Seriously. They have 51 instead of 44. That seems very odd that that would be their thing. But, I mean, here we are. We have evidence of it. Uh, let's actually get another Blessed Pterodon. We'll get one Blessed Chameleon Skink. Okay, we'll do that. We'll do that. So that way we have um, just one additional Blessed Unit, along with a bunch of random units, which I think is rather fun. And then, of course, we have just nice uh, round four uh, on these Blessed Pterodon Riders, which I quite like. We will have to rank up these Horned ones again, though. The difference in their like abilities is pretty striking. I mean, look at 83 melee attack compared to 72, and 50 melee defense compared to 42. It's pretty sad. Poor things. But oh well. So are you just going to be happy now? Is that just something you're going to do? Are you just going to be happy? Um, corruption is minus 19, but it is trending towards 7.7. .7. But a lot of that is because of us being here. Although technologies are keeping it untainted, and that will actually change more. So I think this place will be happy if we just sort of untax it. This does make us immune to all reef and maelstrom attrition, though, which is nice. So I do like that. I do like that a lot. And we got a bit of extra cash for the Pleiadon landing. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, so I can teleport, which I think I will do. I think I'm going to teleport over here so I can go fight those ruddy elves. Oh, those elves are going to be a real problem. But, if I can set up some ambushes, then they are not going to be a real problem. They're going to be a, a well, a very real laugh to fight, rather than a problem. They're still going to be real. Elves are real. Okay, so, next up, we're going to do this. Ambush now. And there we have it. Um, not even worth fighting. No, it isn't. Kiha blooded eater. He's dead. Did we lose anybody? We lost 85 men. Cool. I'm going to harvest their materials. 
Brilliant. And we got more blessed pterodon riders. Hell yeah. That's what I'd like to see. And Clark Harond, you've you've earned bigger walls. Don't know how. Another stash of gems. Wow, another 20. That's amazing. After centuries forgotten and lost to the world, a silent sanctum is now under threat of annihilation once more. An enemy descends, befouling the area in their evil wake. Their whole army must be crushed, for the forces of order are in need of your oversight, and the power of the silent sanctum cannot be lost. Got a new sanctum available too. Excellent. Um, so, I'm trying to end the episode, but I want to do shopping, so I'm going to do all the shopping. Can't help it, guys. Can't help it. Okay, good. Extra research rate for the Great Warder there. That's a big deal. Um, can you have that? Can you have a Great Warder? You can have an Astronomer. Yay. Also, you can have an Arcane Item. How have I not given you an Arcane Item yet? Um, guess I'll give you that one. Why not? No, the miscast chance. So, can you have it? Got an Administrator there. Uh, okay, not there either. What are you? Hang on. Was it him? No. What has it we got? I've lost the thing that we got. I mean, it was an item, right? Yeah? Oh, it was a follower that we unlocked. I thought. Okay, now I'm very confused. Now I'm very confused. Let's let's go have a look at Captain Grendel, because he's got a level up anyway. Um, regrowth. Brilliant. Now, let's equip something, please. There we go. Great Warder. There's a Great Warder here. Okay, so I don't want to get rid of the Administrator, or the Fan Waver, or the Prize Hunter. Don't need that anymore. Don't need that. Uh, great Warder. Brilliant. And can I equip more? I can level up more. That's something I can do. Bottomless quiver. Why the heck not? Uh, nothing. Can't equip anything on you. Croak. Can you get unique stuff? Or are you stuck with... You can get an astronomer. And a rat spawn sacrifice. Okay, so we only had the one of those. But... Our research is now at 185. And we do have a bunch of other um, scrying pools building. So it could get pretty high. But this is where we're going to end the episode. So um, I guess we'll find out next... Uh, the next day. Tomorrow, I think, is uh, the next day. After today. Pretty sure it's tomorrow. So come back then and you can see the next episode. That's how the system works. So guys, if you enjoyed this, please do comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care.